so glad to be home with my family. Man. But that store was crazy. So many different kind of people. Yeah. African, Italian, Finnish. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it made me think about the Three Kings. The Three Kings, what are they? Some sort of old rap group or something? What made you think about the Three Kings, Sonny? You know, I don't know really. It's just that the last three customers were all so different, yet they were looking for that special ingredient to make that Christmas dinner just right. You know, there was this Italian lady. She was looking for a special brand of a cheese. No me diga el queso. Yeah, queso. <laughs> Can't have cheese with queso, man. <laughs> and then there was this guy with some sort of Scandinavian accent. He was looking for a Chinese tea. Mm. Oh, honey, honey. And then there was this frustrated African guy, right? He buys a little pie. He stands in the middle of my store and he ate it. Que barbarida. I mean, you know, I know it's a stretch, but they reminded me of the three kings searching for Jesus. You see, Juan, the three kings were rich, and they seemingly had everything, but they knew that the Messiah was the one thing that they were missing. So they followed the star, just as the prophet of old foretold. They gave him gifts and whatever they could offer, but he in turn gave them and everyone who would believe in him the ultimate gift, eternal life. Gee, I guess those people in my store were like the three kings. They seemingly had everything, yet they were in need of that one thing to make them complete. See, guys, the bottom line is this. Jesus is the light of the world, and wise men still follow his light today. He never asked that we be perfect. He simply asked that we give him a chance. Everyone deserves a chance.